easily distracted, disappointing behaviour, lacks interest, disruptive, poor attender, not expected to achieve. These are some of the comments our students hear about the behaviour in school before they come to fix it. Unfortunately, schools can't personalise the curriculum to engage every student, and some, inevitably, fall through the net. To many students, the thought of moving on to a college is seen as an unattainable goal, a place for clever kids. Fix it off as an alternative, complementary solution, particularly to students who prefer to learn by doing hands-on, practical activities. Our focus is always on developing confidence, promoting achievement and celebrating success. Every completed technical unit is a cause for celebration and a key motivator to continue their learning journey. Practical activities, on-the-job assessments, small groups, all encourage students to progress. Our trainers act as positive role models, usually, to help build their social skills, confidence and self-esteem. The students say they enjoy Fix It because it's not like school. They rise to the challenge of working in what they perceive as a grown-up environment with all the responsibilities that this entails. Rich has been here for nearly two years now. Let's hear what he thinks in his own words. So, what are you doing today, Richard? I am rebuilding an engine. So, how often do you come to fix it? Every Wednesday. Wednesday. Just the one day, would you? Yeah. Would you come more if you could? Yeah, I would. Yeah. And when you come, what do you do? Just like theory, and then practicals, and then do an assessment after that. And is it all to do with engines or do you do other things? Um, there are things like working on the tyres, like moving them and yeah. placing them back on with the back brakes and yeah. the front brakes. Yeah. Um, but I will say this back one's less, like, less easy than the front ones. Uh -huh. yeah. When people come here, do you, do you call them trainees or students? Or students, students, young people. Right. Yeah. Uh, the, the ethos of, the, of Fix It is that it's, it reflects a realistic working environment, although it is a training centre. Uh -huh. We want the young people to feel like they're at work when they come here, so school rules don't apply. Yep. Uh, we give them the boots and overalls and that makes them feel grown up as well as being a health and safety aspect. Uh -huh. And they tend to rise to that challenge and uh, engage well with the trainers. And it's nice to see the transition yep. to, the, to the mature young man who leaves us at 16 uh, with something to look forward to in the future and with the confidence to make those steps into the real world. Yeah. You've got quite a wide brief in terms of the students that come, so how do they get on together? Well, you've been around the workshop today and, you, mm. and you've seen how they interact together and we have had a wide range of students in yeah. today. We've had post-16 students who've left school and been unable to get a job. Uh -huh. You've had some students from one of our mainstream schools uh, working in the engine bay. Uh, you've actually had an ex-student in here as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and we have had some special needs students in today, so with mild learning difficulties yeah. from uh, Oakfield School. And because of the way we set up the set up the centre and the ethos around it, they all work together. They have every opportunity to interact with each other socially, mm -hmm. as well as using the training sessions to deliver some formal accreditation and personal skills. Yeah, I'd have to say it felt nice when I was talking to the lads. And is it predominantly lads, as you would expect? It is. Yeah, and we've not got so many girls this this year. Yeah. Last year we had about five or six girls in the building. But, you know, we would like more girls in here, and, and in fact, historically, we have specifically worked with girls' groups in, in the past. Uh, they've mainly been evening groups, but yes, the automotive industry is a male-dominated environment, but there's room for girls out there too. Yeah. And we've had some success stories getting uh, getting girls through the process and into work into the workplace, although they have encountered some discrimination when they've been in the workplace, uh -huh. they haven't encountered it here. And the opportunity came up for a part-time instructor, so I was quite lucky to get the job. Right, and are you a mechanic by trade? I'm not, no, but I've got a lot of mechanical experience. I used to be in the armed forces, you see. Right. Yeah. Uh, and the tank car, so I've got not a lot of experience working on engines. Yeah. Uh, so, and I've got a lot of teaching ability to give to these young children, right. you know, yeah. to get them on in life. Yeah. Hopefully okay. give them a good start. And where do people go from here when they finish the training? Um, a lot of kids go to Wigan College, uh -huh. or what they do is they come back here and we do we do a level two IMI course, which we've just started this term. Yeah. Uh, so they've got really two options. Uh, so it's really up to the children what they want to do. Right. Okay. But we, we do find a lot coming back to do a level two here. Yeah. Because they like the atmosphere. It's quite a relaxed atmosphere, right. and they get on great with the instructors. And certainly the lads I talk to love coming. 
which has got to be a great thing. Well, of course it is, yeah. I mean, there's no point just sitting here talking to me. I'm just the suit who puts it all together. You know, they're the beneficiaries and they're the ones, you know, that's the true story. That's how fix it works. Go and talk to the young people because out of the word, out of the mouths of babes, you know, you're going to get the truth. So, what was it like when you got a day off from school to come here? Oh, it, it was that exciting after all. It is high school. Every, every kid's always excited to come off to go yeah, come off school and yeah. uh, get some practical work. Sounds yeah. like a great swap, a day off school yeah. and some day. <laughs> yeah. And what were the things that you learned when you came? Uh, I learned like the brakes, the uh, the tires, alternators, and you know the general work of a car, the general yeah. maintenance of a car. So lots of hands-on work when you came. Yeah, when I came. And in. some theory as well. Yeah, some some theories. Yeah. Some days, yeah. But mainly practical. Yeah. And did that suit you? Yeah. yeah. So when I left school, I found out I had a passion in mechanics. So I went to college and got did my level one and my level two, and now I'm doing my level three, which I'll be finishing in June. And it all started with Fix It. Yeah, it all started with Fix It. And even now, I came back here to do some volunteer work for yeah. Fix It. The, the kids really understood what I said, and also the tutors got along with me very well. And I, and I really enjoy passing on my knowledge to other people. And coming here to do the volunteer work made me realise that hopefully I'll go to university, yeah. and if not, Either way, also, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to become a teacher someday yeah. and already I'm asking my tutors if there's a course I could do. But I, I love nothing more than sitting at my computer and writing job references for young people. Uh, they come, they're always told whilst they're here on the course that when you do go looking for work, you know, use Fix It as a job reference because mm -hmm. it's a realistic experience that you've had here yeah. and we can talk about not just the, the technical qualifications that you've learned, but how you've developed as a young person about your timekeeping, uh, about your attitude to the job, health and safety, how you mix with others, how you follow instructions, how you work independently. And all really important in the workplace. Of course they are, and they've got transferable skills too. What, what I say to the young people is even if you decide at the end of this you don't want to be a mechanic, there are a lot of transferable skills you can take with you. The worst case scenario is when you get older, you will have a car of your own, and you'll be able to fix those simple faults yourself. Mm -hmm. So it's a win-win situation, whichever way the young people look at it. Yes, they're learning here and they're picking up new skills, but they're also having fun when they're here. I'm you know, very keen that they actually enjoy their time here and they feel safe here. And that's how you get the most out of the young people. And that's what keeps them coming back. And, and so that's why we've got high retention rates with our students. Right. I've had a brilliant afternoon, really enjoyed it. Enjoy talking to yourself, your instructors and the lads as well. So thanks very much. You're welcome. Thanks for coming around. Society and the media stereotypes youth culture. They regularly get a bad press. Our graduates, like Prosper, feel they've earned the right to stand shoulder to shoulder with their peers. Some are ready to study in college, and others have gained the confidence to apply for jobs in the industry. Young people tell us how Fix It has helped them to participate in society and make positive choices regarding their future. Fix It has worked with over a thousand young people, we're proud to be part of the solution. We can't change society on our own, but we know we've made a difference.